Attention, ladies and gentlemen. The management takes great pleasure in presenting... Born into Hollywood royalty and history in the making. Sounds like a fairy tale start for Desi Arnaz Jr. But today we're going to shine a light on the sad, strange life he led because of and despite his parents' fame. Was Desi of an age where he was remotely ready for fatherhood when he had his first kid? What role did jealousy play in him leaving the cast of Here's Lucy? Here's nostalgic Nick with all these answers and more that illustrate a shocking amount of heartbreak. If you enjoy our video, please give it a thumbs up, it really helps. And subscribe to our channel so you catch our next trip down memory lane. But without further ado, here's the life of Desi Arnaz Jr. Why did Desi Arnaz Jr. leave Here's Lucy? Being the son of Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz gave the junior a VIP pass to fame and national recognition, but it's also at the root of every hardship that would plague the rest of his life. Desi's first TV appearance came in a 1957 episode of I Love Lucy, and around that time, at the age of three, was the very first time Desi felt jealousy. He visited his parents on the set of I Love Lucy and was confused he wasn't chosen to play the couple's TV son, Little Ricky. Instead, the role went to Richard Keith, and it was his for 23 episodes. But Desi's confusion was made worse when viewers around the country thought his illustrious parents' real child was named Little Ricky. Daddy! So, a fictional TV toddler, played by an entirely different kid, was allowed to shape Desi's identity before he could even add or subtract. And it stuck with little Desi, and early on, he learned to hate little Ricky. The character, the actor, and especially being called that name. All this festered in Desi's mind and heart, and led to him wanting above all else to be better than little Ricky. Desi Arnaz Jr.'s career stayed a tangled mess through the early years. Lucille's TV empire grew with The Lucy Show and Here's Lucy. Airing from 1968 to 74, Here's Lucy featured Lucille's real-life kids, Desi and Big Sis Lucy, with an I-E. But three seasons in, Desi Jr. jumped ship right after the show's biggest year. His sights set on stardom, Desi wasn't rid of the identity crisis. He had to get untangled from its grip, and that meant chasing down his own greatness, anything that would overshadow little Ricky. Fortunately, this move did pay off. He landed a title role as Marco Polo in Marco, along with Billy Two Hats. But they were just some blips on the radar, while Desi Jr. chased a high that was deep-rooted. How old was Desi Arnaz Jr. when he had his first child? The apple does not fall far from the tree. On TV, they were the most iconic couple in America. But behind the scenes, Lucille and Desi Sr. were always on the verge of divorce. The biggest reason, besides Desi Sr.'s volatile temper, was also his chronic flirting. It was an open secret. Desi was a womanizer who flirted with anyone in a 10-foot radius. In fact, when the magical Barbara Eden worked with a famous TV couple, she recalled thinking, quote, I knew I had to be careful there because Arnez would pursue her. And if you want to know more about that, we have many videos for you to check out. Back to our famous flawed family, along came their second child, Desi Jr., who more than lived up to dad's name. The younger Desi was sexually active at just 13 years old, and he didn't slow down. He became a father at the age of 15. Desi went out with a fellow teenager named Susan Callahan Howe, who was also a model. The two hooked up, and in 1968, Susan gave birth to a daughter named Julia. For decades, Desi acted like he was not the father. All the while, Susan told their daughter he was the dad. But Julia never had answers until she was 20. Lucille died in 1989, and shortly after, Julia got a subpoena for a DNA test. And yeah, Desi was proven beyond a doubt to be the father. Luckily, things weren't too awkward after that. In fact, Desi Jr. managed to step up and be there for his child. He paid for Julia's college education, and when she fell into substance abuse, he paid for her rehab treatments every time. When Julia had a kid of her own, 
Desi Jr. was there for his new granddaughter. Who is Desi Arnaz Jr. married to now? Those who knew Desi say that even at just 13, Desi thought he was in love when he was just in lust. He's got the relationship list to prove that, both bound in holy matrimony and keeping things casual. He went out with actress and singer Linda Pearl, and Lucille gave her blessings for the two to get married. They first met on a movie set, and it should have been a lasting win for Desi, who wanted to carve a path all his own, something little Ricky had no say in. But tension quickly soured their marriage, and Linda filed for divorce the following year. The causes were Desi's general stubbornness and an ongoing substance abuse problem, both of which would keep all his relationships pretty short for a long while. Fortunately, with some time and a lot of hard work, especially from Desi, the two were able to stay on good terms. But the list goes on. A very disapproving Lucille Ball was always making it crystal clear what she thought of some of these relationships. First was Patty Duke, who Desi Jr. dated when he was 17 and she was 23. Things got pretty serious, and he accompanied her to the 1970 Emmy Awards when she won the Emmy for Outstanding Single Performance. Lucille hated it, the tabloids loved it, and everyone lost it when Patty became pregnant. But this time, the father was music producer Michael Tell. Another famous courtship was with Liza Minnelli, yep, Judy Garland's daughter, keeping it in the royal Hollywood bloodline. And again, Lucille objected to the age gap and the unsavory influence the wildcard Liza would have on Desi. But it was serious enough for again he joined her at the 1973 Academy Awards, when Liza won Best Actress. I am sensing a pattern. Next up on the list was Kim Darby and Tina Sinatra. It's no wonder that even at just 25 years old, Desi had enough self-awareness to call himself a playboy in his younger years. What happened to Desi Arnaz Jr.? They used to say like you're little Ricky and I don't know I'm not. One of Desi's earliest childhood memories was of his overwhelming jealousy and confusion about his TV star parents doting over another kid. He was saddled with an identity crisis and inferiority complex that left Desi seeking any and all ways to treat the pain. Unfortunately, he chose a cocktail of drugs and alcohol as his medicine of choice. By the age of 18, Desi Jr. had done cocaine, LSD, quaaludes, marijuana, and mescaline. By 23, he couldn't maintain any of his relationships, romantic or otherwise. We see that in his short marriage to Linda Pearl which ended in no small part because of this drug abuse. One year after his divorce, Desi felt so lost and broken, he went to Vegas and went on a three-day drug bender. By 29 years old, Desi felt like he was indeed dying, both in body and spirit. But he might have kept falling down that steep slope of despair and self-harm, if not for a very big wake-up call. Doctor showed him a brain scan and revealed that all those drugs made his brain look like that of a 60-year-old. Luckily, that was enough to change Desi's mind and he committed to sobriety. How old is Desi Arnaz Jr. now? Desi Jr. took after his father in a lot of ways, far more than his nemesis, Little Ricky. But he also broke the mold in a way that ended up saving his dad's life. Desi Jr. chose the sober life healed his relationships, and focused on his career. This allowed him to lead by example when Dad needed to make the same choice. Lucille and Lucy both revealed that Desi Sr. was resistant to stuff like AA. He just couldn't make that final jump, but it was Desi Jr. who gave him the final push. He assured his father, quote, Come on, Dad, you can do this. And in doing so, he helped Senior quit the drinking near the end of his life. It was enough that Lucy, i.e., said she didn't care what happened next. She was beyond proud of her father. Desi Arnaz Jr. could at least take pride in what he'd done as his career came to a quiet close. Hey. Thank you. Hola, amigos. Hola. 
Messi on us. After playing his father in 1992's Mamba Kings, he moved to Boulder City, Nevada to live the quiet life with his wife, Amy, who he married in 1987. The two stayed together ever since, but heartbreak plagued Desi a few more times. First, when his wife, Amy, died in 2015. Then, with the premature death of his granddaughter, you see, Julia had a kid of her own, Desiree, named in direct reference to her famous family. And tragically, Desiree died of breast cancer when she was just 31. Julia described the pain of watching her daughter wither away as agonizing. And it may have been avoided. Doctors felt a mass when Desiree was 25, but dismissed cancer thinking she was too young. Gosh, that's heartbreaking. These days, Desi keeps a low profile, but his impact has been quietly resounding. The life of Desi Arnaz Jr. is the full package. It's the ultimate example of child stardom and the effects that mom and dad's fame can have on a young impressionable mind. It's the story of all the traps of fame and messed up identity issues, falling to your lowest low and climbing back up again. So, what surprised you or inspired you about Desi Arnaz Jr.? Do you remember watching Little Ricky? Did you think that was actually Lucy's son? And what role of Desi Arnaz Jr. should I check out? Get in the comments and tell us your thoughts. While you're there, tell us who we should cover next. Hit that thumbs up icon if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. But from all of us here at Do You Remember, we want to thank you for watching.